Hello, Pi. Pi. And where's Peach? <laughs> oh, that was Maple answering. Not Peach. Hey guys, it's Dennis here, and there's Gulika. Hi. <laughs> and it's a uh, Thursday, March 26. <laughs> Peach said that's right. So. It's, this is the third video now, like the last video you've seen, I was talking about how my business is, is non-existent. <laughs> Maple's pulling hair. They're pretty vocal tonight. And I'm in a little better mood tonight guys, because like I've been saying, it, it just started to sink in and like all this happening, you know, that virus and and all the bad news all around the world and it finally did sink in and then <laughs> then when my business just went down the the tanked you know i was kind of a bit in shock and stuff but you know i know there's a lot of people worse off than us so you know like i said we have money in the bank and stuff and we're all right Peach says, yeah, he wants to keep it there, though. But, you know, when your income goes to zero, when your income goes to zero, it hurts. Because just imagine, like, some of you, you probably can't relate to that, because, you know, there's a lot of people that are on fixed pensions, and even teachers here, they they closed all the schools here for the year now. They're not going to open up till September, you know, if, <laughs> if everything goes well. But they're getting full pay, and they deserve it, but, you know... It's one thing to, to worry about uh, this virus and people getting sick and dying and everything. It's another thing if you have no finances. So some people, you know, you just can't relate to that, but, but we'll be okay. So I, I've tried to get away from the news a bit too. Like it's, it's very grim, hey? but you still have to watch the news to, to see what they're closing and stuff like that, like in our area. I'm, I'm watching our, our local area because the other day they closed the all the playgrounds in the city here so and, and also canada has closed all the national parks so you know, if we want to go for a hike or something we got to make sure something's open so that's why we watch the news otherwise i'm not going to pay too much attention yeah. just because it's too grim right Kulika? yeah we have to make sure we know when they uh, uh, announce that martial law or something because they might well do that so yeah then when they shut we the, need to know that <laughs> you might not be able to you go down the block and they'll be, you know, they'll be uh, monitoring everybody, which, which, just look at Italy, right? Look, look at there what's happened. It's just totally out of control and, you know, maybe they say it's going to peak any day, but it's just terrible there in Spain and, and United Kingdom now and the States. Like, the, the worst is still coming on, on this side of the world, right? So, but... You know, we got to watch the news sometimes, like I said, to, to find those things out. So anyways, guys, look at their nice, clean accommodations. Kulika did a nice, clean job here. Got the whole room cleaned and cleaned their, uh, their condominium. And <laughs> Peach is saying, yeah, he's happy. And the magpies, their cage too. And this whole area, like, we keep it really clean. And, and now that we're not working much, do you have any new projects, Kulika, or what are you doing? Well, today I, I, I just really got into cleaning mode, and I washed the walls and the floor and like everything, like yeah. really thoroughly, and even uh, tried to get into all the grooves. So yeah, she did a really good job there. <coughs> really deep clean. Because <laughs> I change the papers in every couple of days, but then yeah. uh, I did some extra thorough cleaning. But also, you <coughs> talking tonight. You did some cleaning upstairs too in the in the kitchen area and dining, didn't you? Yeah, like uh, no one's. But you really did some organizing, I see. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to keep busy and uh, keep keep productive somehow. And uh, cleaning is a good <laughs> thing. It's like uh, <laughs> you know, maple. You're doing maple. Yeah. You're maple. <laughs> oh, Peach is getting jealous. Yeah, He's yeah, coming in close. Especially like once you're dealing with uh, viruses and uh, the cleaning is a pretty acute it's, topic altogether. Yeah, it's. <laughs> <laughs> I almost feel like I'm, I'm probably spending uh, more than half of my uh, wake hours on cleaning and uh, disinfecting and uh, 
experiences both before before me and after me. Yeah, that, because I'm so paranoid about my mother getting that. Yeah, that's right. We're we're well, concerned, and but but she's distancing herself. Like we're. We're, she's yeah. in her own room and we're not really bothering her too much and still like I'm even scared to touch anything like anything that I did yeah, in her room like, you're like, sanitizing everything like the door handles I am but it's so easy to slip so the bathroom just, is really just clean just in case because if we were to pick something uh, so that virus up then uh, wouldn't be good it no. wouldn't be good cause, no. yeah, cause... look at this guys there's the boss how you doing Sammy Sammy <coughs> Sammy how you doing He's really doing well now, guys. He's recovering really fast. If you didn't know, guys, he had a cyst on one of his legs, and it was getting really large, and last Monday it was bleeding, so I took him to the vet, and actually I had to call around. A lot of them, <laughs> a lot of them weren't answering the phone, so I kept calling around, and finally somebody, they did answer. I, I, actually, I hung up. <laughs> they don't like that. He's getting attention. Mm -hmm. I, I hung up and then dialed another one again and they answered and I said what was going on they said bring him in and, and you know I didn't really want to go out because with this virus and everything they say stay in but he needed some attention but the first uh, 24 hours after he was really resting and you could tell he was it was probably very tense <laughs> the crows he was very tender yeah, see, it's, uh, he has quite a few stitches here yeah he was he was wearing that cone there too one night because I saw him licking it. One, two, three, four. He's got, a, got a four oh, stitches. He's got a few stitches there, yeah. Yeah, Jamie. Yeah. But, and also they pulled uh, actually, one guys, tooth out. Yeah, guys, I forgot to mention, they said one of his teeth was in really bad condition. <coughs> and I said, if you think it's bad, pull it out. So he's dealing with a sore leg and a sore mouth. Like, mm -hmm. we've all, anyone that's had to have, have a bad cavity pulled or... Like, if it's rotten or something, the tooth, you know how that hurts. Well, cat, because he can't tell us when, uh, if he were to have a toothache or tooth so would be hurting, he can't tell us. He, he must have had a really sore, like a like a toothache for a long time, but, but you know, the boss is his own, his own, <laughs> his own cat, and as long as you're giving him some nice attention, he's okay, but to force his mouth open and look, yeah, he'll bite you, you know. Many. Want to show his but team. this is the best he's been. We took him in Monday, and now it's Thursday evening, March 26th, and he's doing really well, guys. And we have actually got uh, some medication in him even. So yeah. I thought that's gonna be a very painful process, but he I, has been actually eating. I crushed yeah. it into his food. I crushed it up and, and uh, I mixed it in his food, and yeah, he's been so eating. He's been he hasn't been overeating, but. But yeah, he's, every time I put fresh food, he eats, and then I put the medication in. Yeah, especially the one that's supposed Sammy. to protect him from infection. Yeah, that's so the that's most important, important one. I gave him a painkiller earlier today, and he seemed to really perk up after. So maybe it's that too. But he he's recovering nicely, guys. Mm -hmm. So there he is, Sammy, <laughs> Sammy the boss. Also, guys, now that I'm not working, I could sleep in till noon if I want. I. I have no commitments other than feeding the birds and I feed Cassie and Sammy in the morning because Kulika stays up later and she's like answering comments and doing stuff like that so I go to bed a lot earlier and but I get up earlier but anyways I could sleep till noon but what did I do this morning six o'clock I'm up and I'm looking up at the ceiling and saying is this real what's going on like I'm still saying that, like, it's so bizarre, like, this is really happening, like, they, like, you read about that in the history books, about that Spanish flu, and it's eerily comparison to this one, like, same kind of things, they were isolated and closing things down, but that's 102 years ago, but anyways, like, everything's closed, right? Now, just imagine... If I was to say, like, or one day we looked on the news, like, everything was perfect, we'll say. Nothing is this, nothing's happening. And then we'd see on the news, Las Vegas is totally shut down. We'd be going, oh, look at that. We'd be telling our friends and people around the world would say, Las Vegas, Nevada, shut down. What's going on? Now it's the whole world is shutting down. But it was so, so bizarre. Like, I, I looked at a cam, live cam last night of the strip there in Las Vegas. It was just ghost town. Nothing. 
and that city, you know, Sin City never sleeps and it's busy all the time and tourists, just creepy. Peach is getting some attention. <laughs> Peach so, is holding my finger here, really. Yeah. Wants to give my hand here. Yeah, so I'll go show the magpies for a minute. <laughs> oh, there's little spice. Pie, come out. Yeah, the cage is wide open, but they, but they don't seem to want to come out. Well, Actually, they spent the whole day outside today, all of them. Yeah, cool. Look, I had everybody outside. And crows, they roll outside. And uh, they are kind of tired and uh, got enough action today, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, a lot of they action. They don't seem to be interested in coming out. <laughs> Because mad boys normally would come out, so... So you're in a real cleaning mood now, you can look up? Yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, you see, the thing with me and uh, viruses is it's, it's not very good mix, really, on a psychological level, because, like, my, for my whole life I've had this this thing about, uh, like, germs and especially viruses. <laughs> yeah. Like that, uh, but uh, it could be considered a kind of obsessive compulsion, but then... Because like, uh, especially, like I, I feel like I need to be cleaning and, and cleaning, and like I can't get enough uh, cleaning. Wipe but, it one more time, right? <laughs> <laughs> but now, with this situation now, I don't know if there is such thing as too much cleaning. So, I've always had this trouble in figuring out when should I start, uh, I mean, like when should I stop uh, washing or, or cleaning, enough? like when is it enough, like when I feel like I need to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really thoroughly clean something, you know what I mean? <laughs> Some yeah. people might be able to identify with that but then uh, right now it's like anything I touch or like when I bring groceries in mm -hmm. from uh, from the store like yeah. it, you, you, it's like uh, my mind is like just so active like I'm trying to figure out in which order we touch things and what we have wa washed already we're gonna what sanitize we, everything what yeah. Do, yeah what what do you sanitize what do you wash with hot water and soap because loaf of bread you can't always wash with soap <laughs> so, no. and you can't really uh, there's in fact with that um, like uh, bleach white needle so you have to somehow figure out some way to get it out of the bag and put it in another bag and uh, it's like it's like a full ritual now in one that comes with uh, doing grocery shopping it's like you have to treat yeah, everything we're, we're doing a like good job with it contaminated so you have to think you, you, <laughs> yeah, like you can't trust the compulsion is really getting fed here and I'm <laughs> almost getting paranoid but then I don't think this is uh, excessive right now at this point because no, they we're said dealing you, with some serious issues. You here gotta be that, careful, yeah. And especially about my mother, because it would be a really bad thing if uh, if she would get it. Because she would, because she's not going out, so she's like totally dependent on us. So if she were to get it, the only way for her to get it will be from us. Us to bring it in. So yeah, it, it won't. So be a good yeah, we, we we have some stress with that. We're trying our best and. Yeah, how can you be perfect? But we have to be perfect the best we can. So how are you guys dealing with going for groceries and stuff like that? Like, I know a lot of you said you're scared to go out too, and but you know we all got to eat. Do you have someone bringing stuff for you or a delivery service? Or actually, I heard United Kingdom when they they locked down there the other day, they said the delivery service went down. Or like, explain that more. What what do you mean? Like, were they just uh, over? overwhelmed or, or why did they stop doing that like people are going to need groceries if they're telling them to stay in so yeah ex people from united kingdom explain what's going on with that and also in the states how's it going down there where you live like we, we hear like new york how bad it is and california and and places like that but it, it's everywhere right like just because you got lower cases somewhere doesn't mean that you, you're not going to get it so <laughs> just just let us know how that's doing and also canada introduced some new uh, emergency like benefit program and i'm going to try to apply for that on april 6th like, like everybody that's that's not working is, is eligible they said but there's always some criteria you got to fill in so who knows but there's a lot of people out there they have nothing so they're really hopeful they can get this going pretty soon because when you don't have any income when your rent's due and everything or whatever your mortgage it's tough so guys i just wanted to make oh, another oh, observation okay. here. i uh, wanted to share one of my uh, new observations so it's just that i noticed that uh, with this coronavirus going on it's just it's such a global issue and it almost feels like the world keeps shrinking and shrinking like i used to 
have the feeling like the world is such a huge thing, like it's yeah. just enormous, it's so big. But then right now with what's going on, it, it feels like it's actually so small. And like every country is so closely connected to every other country. It's like we are... <coughs> It's just amazing feeling, yeah. and uh, it's like we are all connected, and through YouTube, and especially our YouTube channel now, I, I feel kind of connected to to you guys who are watching us from uh, every corner of the world, and you you are facing the exact same issues yeah. there that we are facing here. So, so it's like there is nowhere to run or hike. Like it's all the same, like the world. So it's just amazing feeling. There are some better spots I hear, <laughs> but. but <laughs> But, you know, it seems smaller because we're all in it. Like when there's a hurricane somewhere or a cyclone, they call it, or earthquake, it's not in the same place. But this is, it's, we feel so small here because it's everywhere. So, yeah, I kind of understand that. Yeah, so, so guys, I'm going to let you go and, you know, I'm feeling better now. I mean, I'm not happy about all these, like, all that uh, death and, and sickness out there. That's, that's very depressing. But the financial thing, what can what can I do about it? Hopefully we'll come out of this and it'll be a big boom and not that many lives are lost. But I know there's a there's a lot of loss of life. So thanks for watching guys and Cassie's outside actually because I wanted to, Sammy the boss to come in here and, and you know I don't want Cassie playing with him when he just had that surgery and stuff. So I'm keeping them apart. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. See you in the next one guys. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep talking about this for now because it's on everybody's minds. How can you get rid of it? Take care. <laughs>